Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Doing Things with E-Dub. Back with another super easy one. Today we're going to do a grilled cheese. One of my favorites when I'm sick, not feeling too good, but also another favorite when it's just cold outside and you just want something warm to eat. So I'm going to make this grilled cheese and I'm going to do some Campbell's tomato soup to go with it. So, you know, I'm trying something different today. I'm going to do grilled cheese with a couple different blends of cheese and then I'm also going to use some different butter. Tomato soup, really simple. All I add is salt, pepper, Italian season, and a little bit of garlic powder. And you just kind of let that simmer by itself and leave it alone. All right. So let's go ahead and start working on our grilled cheese. So for our bread, I like to use brioche bread, the thick slice. I'm also going to go with some new organic butter that I've been trying. I like it. And I'm also going to go with some garlic powder. So with your bread, you can toast both sides and only butter one side of bread if you would like. Uh, I know some people like their grilled cheese to be extra, extra crispy. I like for mine to be really cheesy. So I'll toast just one side and I'm going to go ahead and butter my pan and get that out the way. This is going to allow me to place all the bread everywhere that I need to put it at and get that toast evenly toasted on all sides. This butter is not as oily as your regular fatty butter. So it, 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 it kind of turns into a liquid base. So you might need to use more or less of it depending on how much butter you actually want to apply onto your bread. Okay, so once you get that going, you can start talking about your cheeses and adding them on there. As you can see in the video, I'm just adding just a little bit of garlic powder to the bread and just going to let that keep toasting. Now, my cheeses that I'll, I'm going to use for today is going to be smoked gouda. It's going to be pepper jacked, smoked cheddar, and a slice of American. I'm going to use yellow American. And as you place those on there, you just really want to do a combination of, you know, maybe one, two, three, or, or you could do half and half. I just kind of stacked them on there, and I'm going to let them just take form and just melt by themselves. I turn the heat down to a low medium, which if you're using a, a knob stove, it would probably be a four and a five. So now your grilled cheese is completely melted. It's done. Let's go ahead and cut it and break it apart and see what we have. Check out that cheese in there. Nice and gooey. Just give it a little squeeze so you can kind of see all that cheese ooh out. So now we're going to go ahead and do our presentation, get our thumbnail, add a little bit of tomato soup, just a little bit for dipping purposes. And there you go. Grilled cheese with tomato soup. Real simple, real easy. If you like this video, drop me a comment. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Doing Things with E-Dub. Take it easy. I'm out of here.